Okay, today is an important day in the world of PRS guitars. We've got two fantastic new bolt-on neck guitars to introduce from PRS. We have the NF53 and the Miles Kennedy Signature model. The hotly awaited Miles Kennedy Signature model, should I say. <laughs> a lot of eagle-eyed viewers and a lot of uh, fans of PRS and Miles Kennedy would have seen the main man playing this guitar out on tour uh, over the last year, 18 months or so. I quizzed Paul Reed Smith on this guitar when he was over with us last year. Yeah, I'd like to know this actually. Could you tell us anything about the, the telly-style PRS that Miles Kennedy was pictured with recently? I don't recently? know what you're talking about. Okay, next question. <laughs> the man normally likes to talk a lot, but he was quite tight-lipped on this one, so I couldn't get anything out of him, but I guess we knew it was coming at some point. I think it was kind of uh, a little bit too soon for it to be released uh, around NAMM time uh, earlier on in the year. So we're seeing this guitar now, uh, or both of these guitars, and we're really excited to check them out. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out the NF53 first. Go for it, Aaron. Let's see what we've got. Right, so taking the first look at the guitar, it's fairly obvious, I would say, to see what they're inspired by. T-style? T-style, yeah, I think you've got it in one. Well done, Aaron. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, right, so let's cut to the chase. So it's a 25 and a half inch scale bolt on uh, electric guitar, obviously. You can see we've got a nice steel bridge here with brass saddles. Really important as well that there's uh, the really great intonation offsets as well. So you can get really good, uh, you know, tuning stability and intonation as you go up the neck. Yeah. Uh, Big part of the PRS history are these pickups, the narrow field pickups. They've been used on a lot of different guitars over the years, including the Swamp Ash Special and also the PRS uh, Special Semi Hollow as well. Lots of special, <laughs> too much going on. So with this guitar, we have the narrow field pickups, but these are a new design pickup. So these are the Deep Dish. The Deep Dish is a, a reference that we've seen in some older PRS guitars from, uh, from the 80s. I'm sure there was, I may be uh, getting it completely wrong, but I'm sure there was a, a deep dish pickup that they made. And obviously it's kind of moved over into this narrow field pickup as well. So the biggest difference is it has uh, a taller bobbin. So the pickup has kind of uh, great single coil traits, but you get the great hum cancelling tone and that extra thickness and wider frequency of a humbucker, but you'll hear when we plug it in, you know, it's unashamedly T style, but then when you crank the gain up, it's, you know, you can really get the, get it sounding really thick and get, get those kind of humbucker vibes, all with no hum. So uh, we have got 10 inch radius, there is uh, vintage tuners on this, they're beautiful swamp ash bodies, maple neck as well, obviously bolt on, uh, like we said as well earlier. So these guitars, super lightweight, aren't they, Very as well? Light, yeah. So you've got the black dog hair finish there. This one's the Blue Mateo. We're super fans of the, the white dog hair finish, aren't we? Absolutely. Which looks absolutely Stunning. sweet. Let me just check here on my, uh, my laptop what their last colour is. Uh, Makati Tobacco Sunburst. So it's nice, nice. to see a kind of a, a more kind of vintage style burst in the selection as well. I wonder if we'll see a Butterscotch Blackguard one at some point, Never that would maybe be quite a, quite a cool addition to it. I think we'd better plug them in, see Absolutely. what they sound like. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Right, so next up is the hotly awaited Miles Kennedy signature model. <laughs> Let's do it, Aaron. Let's have a look. Nice. Oh, cool! Look at that. Look at that. So, getting it straight out the case there. Looks very, very similar to the NF53. Yeah. Uh, getting a good close-up look here from me just checking out the guitar. I can see they have that narrow field look, but there's something slightly different with the uh, construction and the look of these pickups, but they, they are the Miles Kennedy signature versions of the, uh, of the narrow field. So we'll get a chance to plug them in shortly, check yep. them both out and kind of hear what the differences are. I know they've kind of done a few more sort of tweaks under the hood in terms of the electronics on this guitar. So we have a five-way switch, whereas on the NF53, we just have regular straightforward volume and tone and three-way switching. Whereas with this, you get the five-way switch, but you also get this push-pull tone control here, which, which works in positions one to four. And then what that does is, it's kind of just a high-end roll-off. So if you're playing with gain and you wanna get kind of just a little bit kind of a richer sound and a less of a kind of a harsh kind of treble, which can be associated with some T-style guitars, yep. instead of having to roll the tone down, you just push that up but the cool thing with that is the fact that it isn't engaged on that fifth position. If you still want that really nice, bright sounding neck pickup, you can go between a really fat sounding humbucker to a really kind of punchy, nice, bright, kind of clean sound. Uh, and you know, when you're playing with some gain, you're gonna get some real nice kind of note definition there as well. <laughs> Other key features on this guitar, you have the uh, the PRS locking tuners on this one. Like we said before, it's kind of a, uh, you know, I guess being on the road, a lot of these guys just want the kind of the versatility and the ease of use of having the locking tuners and just being able to kind of uh, change strings a lot quicker on the fly. So again, we have this lovely steel plate bridge with the brass saddles. As you can see, uh, it's got the modern offset so we're going to be able to get really good intonation. You've got four uh, single screws there to adjust the intonation as well. But with these offsets, as long as you're using kind of regular string gauges and you aren't going too wild with, um, you know, uh, between the toppy and the lowy, you're really going to be able to get really good spot on, you know, typical kind of PRS intonation. Both guitars have a bone nut. Uh, can we show a little bit more on the back of the guitar as yeah, well? Sure. Anne? So you've got this really comfy neck joint here as well so you're going to be able to get your hands kind of right up the top end there and it's still distinctly prs yeah. so it still has that cutaway there that kind of uh you know that we that that kind of summarizes and and just is everything that we know kind of about prs so um done a lot of waffling there the proof will be uh, <laughs> uh plugging them in and testing them out so let's do it
Right, so Aaron, which one was your favourite? The NF53. Awesome. I think, me. you know, that is definitely a, a guitar that definitely suits your playing style. Obviously, the, the Miles Kennedy's got a little bit more of that kind of rock thing going on, but obviously, as you can hear in the video, when you're playing it, it still absolutely nails those wicked country vibes and stuff as well. So what I did want to mention as well, which I forgot to earlier when we was talking about the Miles Kennedys, was the colours that they come in. Let me just give you a quick rundown on those. So you had, did you have the natural one, Aaron? Yes. It yeah, was you the had the natural. One, yeah. You had the natural. I had the hunter's green, uh, and then it's also available in antique white and tricolour sunburst. So there's a little bit of kind of uh, variation there for everyone. A few more kind of uh, vintage style sort of finishes, or across kind of both both of the guitars anyway. So I think it's a pretty important step for PRS to introduce a guitar like this. I think it's kind of the final piece in the puzzle 
for vintage style guitar tones anyway, but it's still got that trademark PRS vibe, tone and versatility that, you know, it, it's really just the hallmark and everything that, you know, PRS is all about in my opinion. They're just great stage guitars and they look amazing as well. So I think, you know, if your, your feet is very much in the vintage guitar world, then the Silver Sky, the NF53, and then guitars like the, the Hollow Body 2, you know, are gonna be an amazing collection of vintage style inspired tones that are, you know, unashamedly PRS. So what I'm saying is thanks for watching the video again. Please like and subscribe, share, tell all your friends, and come and check out one of the guitars and we'll see you soon. Cheers, bye-bye.